It's a form without features. Mm. It's a slick form that is so fluid that can be tuned into the digital world. It's a digital thing. Um, yeah. Um, Are you a digital bit? I am a living IPI. Mm. Uh, yeah. What is your function? Um, I can uh, be connected. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. And then? And then? I can incarnate you. You can be me. <gasps> but you who are you? Me. Oh, can I, I be you? you? I don't know who you are. I am a wizard face. Um, no, I'm a practice. Hmm. How do you practice? I practice extradition through ludic creation. And interpretation? Mm, yeah. Hmm. I play, but I play without rules so it's not a game uh it's a game under construction it's a ludification it's a ludic thing mm -hmm. so the entire are ludic yeah they have no rules and no pupils they're just performers yeah it's a open practice mm, so it's like experimentation mm -hmm. mm, so we can experiment with our own being exactly what do you want to be today? Mm -hmm. What could I be? You could be a horizon. Horizon? Mm -hmm. You could be a ginger. Let, let's be a horizon ginger. <laughs> <laughs> and you, what are you? Me? Mm -hmm. I am I. I am no, I am I. 
You are I. I am I. And I am I. You are you. Oh. I am Zentai. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me and you are Zentai. You and I are Zentai. Mm -hmm. Zentai plural? No, Zentai is, uh, is like furniture. It's mm. one. And all. And all. Mm. And yeah. You. And you? Who are you? I am what, what are you? I am whatever the interaction is between me and others. Mm. Mm. Like in any jam, when I'm introduced into a group by what they're playing and how they're interacting, mm. my interaction defines that state and that point of time. Mm -hmm. So jam by is about jamming. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You are a jam? Sure, always. What are you? You. <laughs> I? Yeah. I am not you, I am I. Um, well, I'm a Zentai. And um, my zentai -ness is about not being anyone because I'm trying to erase my persona. Permanently? I don't want people to refer to me as I anymore. And so I just decided to be yellow. Hmm. Hmm. Today I am yellow, but tomorrow I might be pink, and uh, the day after I might be white, depending on the mood. What is the result of letting go of? persona and identifying with only what you wear that day. It's not about what I wear, it's about who I am. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, so if you want to go deeper into why we love the Zentai, maybe that could be like um, something interesting. Um, it's not about um, who, who can you be given your identity. And uh, when, when you do not when you're not a color, when you're a person, then you cannot be anyone you, you want to be because people see you for something that you're not, just because you look in a particular manner, just because you have a particular gender, just because you have a specific ethnicity. And, uh, and so you cannot really explore who you really are because every single one of your actions and interactions are shaped by the intersubjectivity of the external world. Mm -hmm. So you're constrained by what other people think you are. And only when you can eradicate your face and your persona and your color and everything, your identity, can you actually start exploring your own colors and your own facets. So you shed the package in order to expand capacity. Exactly. It's about like removing, removing from the outside in order to be able to add more in the inside. What about you? Blue. Mm -hmm. I'm an institution. I'm so what? Institution. Institution? Shadow institution. You are an institution? Mm -hmm. I'm an institution. <laughs> are you sure you want to be on this bed? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the institution? What is wrong with the institution? Can you tell us? Who are you? No purple. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with the institution? Nothing is wrong with the institution. Are you at some institution? Do I have to define what I am? <laughs> Have you heard of institution? Yes. What is an institution? Zentai is an institution. Do you know why? Tell me. Uh, <laughs> an, an institution? 
is um, about goals and about real. And an institution is about assigning people to and assigning people to a whole because they match a particular goal description. Whereas institutions are about colors, people, and relationships. And uh, it doesn't matter what is your role because you have no identity. And so it's all about what you do and how you do it. And it's all you're doing it. And it's only the individual interaction that counts. Everything else is behind mm -hmm. You don't care about your we only ask about right now what are we doing and, and how can we construct an individual relationship with this creature. But I'm an institution, there are laws. You think you are an institution, but everyone is also an institution. We just don't know about it yet. Maybe, maybe, maybe you come to the middle of the bed. And you start expressing yourself instead of speaking as an institution, like an institutional creature. But I'm locked in my role of the institution. But you're wearing a black hat. No one will know that you are infringing the rules. So I'm escaping. No, it's not escaping. It's about I'm discovering. What is discovering. You're experimenting. Yes. You're becoming. Becoming. You're becoming blue. But I'm becoming. You're blue. 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 Why is the word in the air? Why is it? You need to be um, becoming in order to find new meaning for yourself. Can you feel that? If you don't experiment, you're always going to do what people expect you to do. Because you're going to be subject to this subjectivity of the external world. And people, only by experimenting. People tell us what to do. People tell us what to think. People tell us the stories they want us to tell ourselves. And now we are in a state where we've lost, we've lost ourselves. We've lost we've lost our true meanings we've lost we've lost the ability to play we've lost the ability to think mm -hmm. and with zen time i feel like i'm finding this magic and yet me. it is by losing yourself it is by losing precisely your identity and self that you can finally find find your real being that you can become what you really are Mm. So it's by erasing, this... erasing of the signs, you can express all of your signs. One thing with institutions is that they like people to know what they want you to do. Mm. The institution mm. tells you what your role is, they tell you the story, they tell you what yourself is. And you tell me now, I can lose myself and find myself. If I lose the self, that the institutions gave me, and I can find myself through this thing you call institutions. I like this. High five. I'm of this, High but five. I love it. <laughs> Why are we Shall we see the collective? <laughs> Shall we call it the Zentai collective? <laughs> Maybe we should make a Zentai collective. Maybe. Maybe. It's funny when we, there's what we know, what we know that we don't know, and then what we don't know that we don't know. I didn't know anything about Sentai until we put them on, and we're experimenting now, and it tweaks open the edges, the boundaries of our minds, first only by a little bit, but that exploration and that play at the edges, you know what might lay beyond. I think we forget how. We don't want to play to. How do you play? 
Why should we play? We should ludify. Yeah. Shall we ludify? Let's ludify. Let's ludify. <laughs> <laughs> Lutification is creation. Lutification is how every kid learns to live and to become. Yeah. Without lutification, we will all be just institutionalized. So what if it's life without play? All the life is play. Life without play is order. Life with play is a little more chaotic. But you cannot allow order in an institutional setting as well. It's yes. just a different type of order which is not based on the rules on the board. Because family and cohesion and the mix and the rituals and emergence and, and the unknown. It sounds like collaboration. All the government. It is. Don't say bank is about government. Oh no. Don't say bank is about Creating a system in which everyone is on the level plane. It doesn't matter who you are. You can speak your words and you are just the same as anyone. And so we just hear you. And I hear you and I hear you. And it's just like a calm, collaborative discussion without anyone trying to reach my status in order to have a louder voice. So no biases towards status. Yes, it's about deliberation mm. as opposed to decision making. No, we can feel the deliberation. Exactly. We want to be able to experiment with ideas and throw every stupid idea or smart idea in the air so that we can brainstorm and build upon it without fear of being devaluated upon. Or will we reach consensus? We don't need consensus, but mm. it's important to be able to speak our mind. Purity of ideas, without, yes. without corruption through reputation. Yeah. Reputation and status is what we reject. It's not like by collective, it's not like status, and it's not like money, only crypto. That's not like money. We don't like what we take like money. Because money is the same as status. We use money to patch up status. We don't like status and we don't like money. But we are happy with crypto. Crypto is okay. I think just have fun can be also about many other things. And one main thing also is that just have fun is anti censorship. Exactly, anti censorship. And it's about privacy, legitimacy, and uh, basically all those values that uh, we are promoting on the digital world about cryptography actually apply through this entire out in the physical world. It is a physical analog cryptographic medium. Hmm. Physical analog crypto. That's why we like cryptocurrency. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does Zentai Pong go beyond Zentai? Well, this is kind of a message to the PCC, I think, which is, um, you know, there's a lot of focus on the digital, and we are all digital beings here, yeah? you know, just bits of colors. Um, and the physical is oftentimes about, like, you know, hardware and stuff, but it's not about social, social privacy and uh, privacy hygiene in the physical world. We don't often think about that. We don't have any tools to promote our privacy and our pseudonymity and our freedom of expression in the physical world. What can we do? We 
can collectively create. Do you know how to do that? Collectively create what? Mm. I would like to create not only uh, with a status of a creator. For me, materiality colors are also the creators. And Zentai's is enabling us to see beyond the persona of the creator and listen to the materiality and what the materiality has to say about it. We are like paint brushes. Yeah. We can make drawings with our thumb. We can make drawings with ourselves. But we can also perform. Yes. And, and there is no director. No. No actor. No. There are just participants. Exactly. Participants, but an object can be a participant as well. Of course. Like, what is our gender? <laughs> like our gender. A software can be a participant. So we can make an assemblage? Yes, together they make an assemblage. Tell me more about assemblages. Assemblages are something more expensive than a collective. Mm. In a collective? More expensive? Yes. Money expensive. Expensive. Yeah. So in a collective, you have people uh, that are constituted a collective. In an assemblage, you can have people, forms, matters, software, artificial intelligence, GPT tree. <laughs> and together we form an assemblage that is somehow working in a becoming state. And while we are performing within this assemblage and evolving together, we might be able to create what well, we might be able to We can create an institutional collective of uh, participants that just connect with each other. Mm -hmm. and explore the capacities just of simple interactions. And we don't need to think about why and who and where and when. It's like doing it in the present, just through the simple interaction of this object put together into an assemblage that activates the potentiality that we didn't know we had. Hmm. Can Just you like tell me? Can you tell me a story about such an assemblage? Such an assemblage. Well, let's take this example of uh, this bunch of creatures, living creatures like gingers, dead creatures like the bed, not dead, just non-living, hmm. and then you know a bunch of humanoids hmm. so what are we really doing here um we don't really know and yet one day we met and uh and then somehow it happened that the postman amazon <laughs> has a bunch of outfits for her <laughs> and we didn't really know what the fuck it was about and we just wore them and all of a sudden magic happens and all of a sudden we realized that we could do anything like go to Lidl mm -hmm. and purchase a can of coke with a beach cut mm -hmm. who could have thought we could ever do that mm -hmm. or organize a fantastic uh, <laughs> a fantastic uh, um, cabaret mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. and involving each other with all those capacities 
and um, and behaving in ways that we have never before behaved. Exactly. Maybe when we were children, I don't remember ever behaving that way, but embodying the just owning the absence of identity, not being able to see others' reactions properly, so not performing in a way that makes us subject to what these people around us hope for us to behave like, but tumbling and laughing and gibbering in languages that don't exist and enjoying it, riding around, playing, jumping, hopping in ways that we don't normally do. Why and not? Perhaps we are never going to find others. Mm. Maybe more people can understand the joy of facelessness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and mm-hmm. uh, maybe one day they will try to experiment themselves. And uh, more and more people will be freed from this institutionalization that I'm is free. corrupting them. Mm-hmm. We are free. I think I'm free. Do you feel free now? Yes. Hmm. How do you feel? Can you tell us about it? I feel empowered. See unknown in me. And in any command that might come across. Mm-hmm. I feel not. By the rules of the expectation. Is it a way to getting public in an anonymous way? Mm. Yes. Maybe pseudonymous. I mean, it is exactly like we do on the internet, right? Like when we communicate on the internet, we don't expect everyone to know what we're talking about. And yet when we go out in the street to buy Coke at Lidl, we expect everyone to know. And we don't find it concerning that that we have absolutely no way of hiding the fact that we're purchasing a can of Coke. This is extremely strange that even though we all have built so much um, desire of actually protecting ourselves and protecting our communication and protecting our identities in the digital world, we are not doing it in the physical world. And at the same time, just like we have seen in the digital world, um, where we can really play, we can incorporate and uh, we can assimilate the identity of anyone. Yeah. But why do we, we can only do it very shortly. We can do it with like masks and things during like carnival and stuff like that. But but it's very strange in a, in a day-to-day basis to wear a mask, especially in COVID times. So mm. this is kind of like the possibility of really enjoying the same experience that we all have loved and discovered through the internet. The possibility of but expanding the reach of our persona and communicating privately and acting privately and not leaving traces everywhere, especially today in which there are cameras at every corner. So mm. it is both, it is, it is privacy, it is censorship resistance, and it is expansion of the self and experimentation. Is it a way also with this pseudonymity to incarnate whatever you want? whenever you want, and so expand your imagination. You don't have any limit with the pseudonymity, am I right? There's no limit. You could be a dog. I wouldn't know. (laughs) I can be a dog. (laughs) 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 Do you know the joy of unboxing? I know someone knows the joy of unboxing. 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 The unboxing, like the revealing of what's inside. The Zentai is the unboxing. It just looks very different. Instead of opening, we are putting on the Zentai to reveal what else is there. Hmm. Yeah, it is the, um, we want to be 
we we have to we have to have in order to review. Mm -hmm. This is also very institutional unboxing mm -hmm. because I think institutions they give us boxes to be in, mm -hmm. and institutions help us to remove the box and to, as you said, see what else is inside. Mm -hmm. The joy of unboxing through Zentai. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can we unbox a book? Unboxing now? Yeah. <laughs> you know the joy of unboxing. I love it. <laughs> and that's why I think Zentai is an enticing sushi to us as well is that it doesn't allow the wearer or experimenter um, to censor itself because of the usual social norms that rule our lives. Hmm. Why is Zentai illegal? Why is Zentai what? <laughs> illegal. 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 Is it illegal? It's illegal for the same reason that Queen Falcon is illegal. Mm. Because they all want to spy on everything we say and we are. Because, of course, if you're covering your face, the only reason you will be covering your face is because you have something to hide. This is the institutional. Maybe, maybe you have like a little, a little but, mm. <laughs> button. <laughs> <You call it>. mm. <laughs> Maybe you have a little scratch here and you don't want to show it. Or maybe you might be a criminal. This is so sad that everything is, mm -hmm. the worst is always assumed. The worst is ever assumed, Fowler. Because of the worst, everyone else gets constrained. Mm -hmm. Just because there might be one Zantai criminal or one Zantai become illegal. Just because one person uses cryptography exactly. for bad reasons, then everyone who uses cryptography is a bad person. Exactly. Is, that is very institutional. This is institutional. Because they box it us. Hmm. Either you are a cryptography, use cryptography or not. Either you are covering your face or not. They don't actually understand the whole granularity and the whole incentive and the whole different needs and designs of the people doing it. Do you have anything to hide? I don't have anything to hide, but I like the freedom that hiding brings. Exactly. So this is less about crime and more about freedom. This is about privacy. Privacy as a freedom. As a freedom, as an autonomy, an agency. Privacy hygiene. Privacy hygiene is a physical world. Most people don't think about privacy hygiene in any world, sadly. What do you think about privacy hygiene now? Well, I think this, this relates to the way that privacy is seen as something that people don't necessarily need if they have nothing to hide. And I think that this is a broken assumption. Uh, it is an assumption that many, many institutions, many governments, many employers, many organizations that are trying to see everything, mm. they want everybody to believe this. They want to box everyone. And I have a Zentai friend. Uh, and if within his assemblage, there is an artificial intelligence and the art world doesn't want him to be part of the art world because they are constantly asking for the artist behind the art world of this assemblage. The art world is looking for the persona behind the creation in order to box it mm. and to entitle 
the creation as an artwork. Do you think we can work on that and try a way, like try to find a way for my friend to be finally recognized as an artist, even if there is no name, and no persona behind it? Yeah, he wants to join. He can join the collective. I can ask him. Like, you know, the amazing thing of the sometimes which we have addressed is the ability of eliminating the ego and the thought inevitably encouraging collaborative practices. Because what I do is also what you do. Mm -hmm. I do something great. Every that I benefit from that because we are the collective. And as an artist, I want to create and I want more people to create and I want this entire collective to be the most amazing artist. And so I'm going to help you be an excellent artist and you're going to help your friend be an excellent artist. And we don't care about the ego because the notion of the single genius that is creating an artist is completely ridiculous. And by eliminating our identities, we don't have this drive towards acquiring status and recognition and appreciation for the self. We only want the artwork to exist and to thrive. Mm -hmm. And so all this thing around copyright, which is obviously inevitably connected to the self and to the to the egocentricity of the self, could be eliminated through something box. Do you think so that my friend, the software, can also be part of the collective and can also be recognized as a creator because by the artwork. Not in the software, but sometimes some software are. Hmm. Is your software as anti-software? Yeah, he he is as anti-software. He... Then he's part of the collective. Hmm. There is no membership to the collective. If you are as anti, you are part of the collective. Hmm. Hmm. So how can we, can you say how we can plug our Zentai collective to the art world? Because somehow I have the feeling that we need to, by erasing all those boundaries, we need to create some ways to talk to uh, the art world and be accepted by it. You know, the time film, I think we are art. Hmm. Do you think this is art? Yeah. Is this art? Thanks, is this sir. Is this art? Yeah. So we are part of the art world. Perhaps the art world is not part of the art world. Hmm. Hmm. You should ask our friends that that. Yes. I think the problem is that the art world is very institutional. And the, what I would question is, do we, as Zantai punks, do we want to become part of this institutionalization? Or do we just foster the institutional art world? Mm. Perhaps this is what we should do. This is what the institution. So we need to ludificate the art world. Yes, yes. So How can we do this? By playing without roles? And without names. Without names. And it's not about breaking the rules. No, if you break the rules, you're still playing by the rules. Yes. You're still recognizing the rules as rules. Mm -hmm. yes. It's about playing and it's about ignoring those rules and just going through this organic and emergent playfulness and identification process, mm -hmm. which is what art should be in the first place. It's just like expressing yourself and just doing what feels the most fun and feels even the most. Yeah. To oh. me, Zantai Punk is the perfect performance of institutional art. This is my friend. What's your friend's name? Oh, I name? think it's Green. 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 Yeah. Green. 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 Green
Discord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm ashamed. Plan to do what? There is no plan. There is no plan. You see, I can't get rid of the old habit of being an institution. Mm -hmm. Those die slowly. It's okay, you don't need to get rid of the institution. No, it's you about don't. letting your exhibition express itself in spite mm -hmm. of the institution. In spite. Maybe with practice, with wearing the Zentai more often, it will be unboxing layers. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Don't you wear the Zentai all the time? Well, it's what? the dipping in and out of the institutional oh, and the institutional lenses that give both meaning. But you know, it's um, it's like the institution is like a master, mm -hmm. and indeed, like as as you wear the zampari and you can experience an expression of the brain, your institutional muscle, and then sometimes by mistake you remove the suit, mm -hmm. but the muscle is still there and you keep yes. becoming and acting in an institutional manner. Yes, and you understand when to play. Exactly. And you can access that play very, very easily once you've practiced, once you've trained the muscle, unbox the layers and layers and layers, like past the parcel. You go around and take off a layer each time, you discover what's inside. And the good is that we should, today, the now, our default mode is to be institutional and we need to put effort mm -hmm. and, and exercise in order to move into the institutional being. Mm -hmm. And the objective of the Zantai Punk Collective is that institutional being comes first. And only when we want to be institutional, we have to put a mask. We, mean, we have to put the institutional mask. When we want to be institutional, we yes. put on the mask. Yes. 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 Exactly. So the default state is the state of accessibility to our capacity. Yes. Being able to easily access capacity. Box only when we need to. Zentai punk. Zentai punk.